The Little Raindrops Journey, How Water Turns Into Rain and Comes Back Again Have you ever wondered where rain comes from or where it goes after falling? Well, get ready for an incredible journey through the water cycle. Meet our friend, the Little Raindrop, who will show you how water travels around our planet in amazing ways. Little Raindrop starts deep in a sparkling blue lake, soaking up the warm sunshine. As the heat from the sun works its magic, something amazing begins to happen. The little raindrop starts to rise into the air, ready for the first step of the journey, evaporation. As little raindrop floats upward, it joins lots of other tiny water drops in the air. Together, they form fluffy clouds. These small drops are so tiny they can dance in the sky like fairy dust. This part of the journey is called condensation. But how does the little raindrop fall back to Earth? When the clouds become super full and heavy, the little drops have to tumble down. They fall as rain, sleet, or snow, depending on how cold the air is. This process is called precipitation. When little raindrop lands back on the ground, it has lots of adventures ahead. Some raindrops land on plants, soaking into their roots to help them grow. Others might flow into rivers or sink underground, beginning a new chapter of the water cycle. Little raindrop could end up in the ocean, the biggest collection of water on Earth. But the journey isn't over yet. Soon, the sun will shine again, and the little raindrop will rise back into the sky. The cycle keeps going over and over. Little Raindrop's journey isn't just magical, it's super important too. The water cycle keeps our rivers flowing, plants growing, and animals hydrated. It also makes sure we have clean water to drink, which helps keep everything on Earth alive and healthy. Without the water cycle, there would be no rain for crops, no oceans filled with life, and no cozy snowflakes in winter. Understanding this natural process can help us protect the water around us and make the world a better place to live. Did you know you can be a hero for Little Raindrop? Simple things like turning off the faucet while brushing your teeth, picking up trash near water, or planting trees can help keep the water cycle healthy. Every little action makes a big difference. So next time you splash in a puddle or watch raindrops on your window, Think about Little Raindrop's incredible journey. Share what you've learned about the water cycle with friends and family. Together, we can help Little Raindrop go on its amazing adventure again and again.